Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Buena Vista Rural Club, episode 55. This week started off with some clearing up. Dave had come up to the farm, as I'd said in the last video, to help rebuild the wall on Sunday. However, the wall collapsed some more, so I was a little down in the dumps about it. I started Monday by clearing up the mess again. And then a bit later, my friend Benjamin came round. He has a lot of experience with rebuilding old buildings and was able to give me some great advice. So the idea, thanks to Benjamin for this idea, putting a plank across, screwing it to the floor, and these two will go here, one, two, three, four, in a line, much more organized, much less likely to get knocked over. And then I put here a support for that part of the wall. Hopefully that won't now tumble down and we'll be able to take it down gradually. The proposition on the table at the moment is to remove this wall completely from here and replace it with a brand new wall with proper footings. Of course, at the same time, we will be putting on a new roof anyway. Benjamin's visit wasn't all about building. He brought me some of the mangoes he'd harvested on his farm, and he gave me a box. I'm not the only one that enjoyed the mangoes. Baifa also had one or two, which he really enjoyed. Está bueno, el mango está bueno. Qué bien, eh? Hi there. So another day, another week, Friday. What did I do today? I came and I finished the hole down here. That's the hole that's going to contain the tubes, the uh, the, the pipes for the toilets that are going to be in this room here. This is a new plan and a plan that came about after this wall fell down because it made me think that this would be an ideal room to make into double toilets and therefore avoid having to partition the barn. The other thing that I've done today is I've started to run those sewage pipes up. They go from here all the way up and you can see where the hole will be there uh, through the wall. To do that I have to get rid of a couple of rather large stones that you can see there. I'm going to have to cut them and that one to make that into a hole there so that these two tubes, these two pipes, can pass up through there into the other side. This is where they were originally going to go, but I decided against that because it would mean partitioning this lovely barn. And we don't really want to do that. The other thing that we've achieved this week is the entrance uh, driveway. And that's been prepared now for uh, the cars to come up this way They'd be able to drop off at the workshop, which you can see has been whitewashed, doorway, and then they can come round. 
and down this way. And this will be finished, I'm saying finished uh, surface. And then they'll be going round again. So there'll be a, a drive through and out again, which will make it much easier because at the moment you have to reverse all the way. I've also started clearing some of the land. Let's take a look at this section, which is about two and a half acres. Two and a half acres is approximately 10,000 square meters. So I'm looking here at the edge of the road, into the field, just to give you a scale. There's the car, and there are the brambles. You can see that the brambles are as tall as I am. And they go deep into the mountain. They're right up the mountain. And they're right down the mountain. They're everywhere. So here is a path that I have cut by hand with a machine, obviously. The machine's down there, you can see it. And we go down one very steep terrace. To this level, get back up, and then an even steeper terrace. <laughs> Here we go, down we go. I was cutting my way down this. Look, can you see? And then we come. So what's relatively flat ground here and we're going to go all the way to that tree there which is the boundary of my land or one part of my land which goes that way look at this for a roller coaster all the way from the top coming down coming down coming down coming round and we're almost at the road but when we get to the road, or the border of the road, we find ourselves with very large rocks. Well, I did it all the way from the top. Here comes Visto the inspector. Come on, Visto. And I did a path or a swathe all the way to the bottom road. All the way across. It's from the top. Let's go and have a look at it from the bottom. And here it is from the bottom. You can see the brambles go right up above my head. That's my hand stretched out right as far as I can go. So they're well over two meters tall. And it goes deep into the thing. And then you can see the boulders here that are hidden by the brambles all the way along. There must be boulders like this all the way. And that's the route to the top. Looking back up. So a bit of tidying up to do here. But basically we can do that all the way along the entrance, all the way up. And we discovered one palm, two palms, three palms. Not surprising really, since we're in El Palmar. So this is the entrance to the farm. There's the clubhouse, just down from the clubhouse. This is our first field. The rock denotes the entrance. I expect there's another rock over this side, but I haven't discovered it yet. And then, we come up and I've hand cut a way through all the way here. Now here on the right, there's a steep drop off 
which we knew about from the other one. But the steep drop off has rocks, look at them, on the side to warn you not to go over the edge. See how you can go over the edge there into the brambles. We're continuing along this, this route past the broom, a rather fine example. And we come to the strip I cut yesterday. Was it yesterday? No, it was on Saturday. It goes up. Down the steep way and then down another one and then down to the road. And this whole triangle will be the first piece of field that I'm going to clear. And so far I've done all the work, I've done all the work with the steel hand cutter. But that's simply because I can't get the tractor out of the workshop yet. And of course, I'll come back over here with the tractor and this will just mow this all down to nothing. I can't wait to do that. Very excited to do that. And then get this triangle of land producing something. We've got almonds over there. We've got briar here, which makes excellent firewood. And also people make pipes out of that. It's a very hard wood. And that's up to the road there. So that very thick hedge here is what divides us from the road. And you can see some rocks there. That's going to be very interesting to clear that out. So some progress at last on the land. Well, that's the entrance to one of the fields. This big rock marks the entrance and there are rocks that mark all these entrances. I'm cutting with the steel. And then I'll come along with the tractor and just mulch all this up. The other thing, of course, I've done this week is I've cleared the entrance here to the gallery, the water gallery. So all this, although this gallery is actually on my farm, the water belongs to the island government. And I get the use of some of it. And they generously allow me to use some of my own water. <laughs> and today I've been clearing here a little bit in front of the gallery so as to be able to see a little bit more what we have. And that's very exciting because that will mean that we'll now be able to explore a little bit more in this direction what's going on and I've discovered obviously that the bank that the cliff goes up around the back of this building of the workshop building and up above the height of the workshop building so one could put a stairway up along the black back uh, cliff and then 
a bridge onto the onto the roof of the workshop and also of course this water tank could instead of it going on the roof could go on the actual cliff it would give it a gravitational drop so another idea that came to me this week um, and that's really the way that this project is developing it goes in phases and it goes in um, various ideas as they come in as they fly into me um, there isn't a huge great master plan um, rather than just going as we go along I modify it to suit what I discover anyway that's where we're at and the end of the week and I hope to catch you on the next one remember to like and subscribe and comment in the box below tell me what you're thinking about what we're doing I always like to read the comments that you make and I'll see you next time here on the Buena Vista Rural Club. Thank you.